What is going on guys? It is Monday. We are back from the dusty depths of the 2018 yeah break. Mm. In this episode, I'm gonna talk to you about photography. I know it's been a while. It's great to see all of y'all smiling faces out there. Life has been busy. It's been coming at me like a brick. We have less than two months until our wedding. Uh, we're getting married, so I've been busy. I'm so sorry for not having any vlogs out. This is hopefully going to pick back up soon. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so what I wanna to talk to you about today is photography. For anybody who's getting involved in photography, just start. You just gotta start, you gotta start taking pictures. I've always been into photography my whole life. I have started back when the iPhone 4 came out. That was my first iPhone ever. Started taking photos at that time, from the 4 to the 4S. You always hear everywhere, the best camera is the one you have with you, and that is so true. I actually didn't get my first camera or any kind of equipment until February last year, 2017. Uh, it was the first time I ended up getting my first DSLR, which was a Canon Rebel T6, and it was a great camera as a beginner camera. Started my main photography career, did off, and I have done nothing but improve and enjoy myself ever since. When I first got into actual photography with my DSLR last year, uh, I had one real gig, and the one real gig I had was through family, and it was doing my mother's wedding. Uh, sometimes that's where you get your gigs from. When you start off at first, take any and every job you can get for free in the beginning. That's how you're gonna grow, it's the only way. That's how you're gonna gain experience, it's how you're gonna get exposure by word of mouth. You know, offer to take pictures of your family, offer to take pictures of your friends. Uh, if you have any friends you know who have a business, offer to promote the product for them by taking photos if they need it done for their business itself. Any kind of exposure, offering yourself up just to build your portfolio, that's what you have got to do in the beginning is build yourself up to get that momentum going. If you don't, you're not gonna grow. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's all I'm saying. When you first get a camera, if you're first joining the photography world and getting into it, whether it's your phone or whether you have saved up and purchased your own camera, you need to shoot. Just go out and shoot whatever. Shoot, find anything in your house, whether it's a set of keys and set them down on you know, a wood table or something with texture and just shoot those or shoot some fruit or veggies in water. Freeze them. Uh, any kind of small object, go outside, shoot the birds, even shoot the grass blades in the grass. You know, if, when you get down, you can adjust your bokeh, you can play with the camera and figure out what you like and what you don't like. Do you like indoor photography? Do you like outdoor photography? Landscapes, wildlife. You're not gonna know until you get out and shoot. You need to get out there and try. With that being said, I started, like I said, with my mother's wedding last March, 2017. And ever since then, I've been taking more and more photos everywhere. Now I live in Florida, so I'm very, what's the word? I'm very privileged to have the ocean near me and a lot of lakes and water. So I figured, what the heck, why not go out and start taking pictures of the ocean? Wildlife, there's seagulls, there's fish, there's turtles, sometimes there's jellyfish. So you go around, I have palm trees everywhere. Just take pictures of anything that's near you, anything that's around you. And you just wanna get that momentum going and start building it up. With my mother's wedding being the first wedding that I shot, and then I started shooting you know, a bunch of landscapes and everything after that, you're gonna learn over time. You know, Your first couple shots, your first gigs, they're not gonna be the greatest. You know, And people are gonna understand that, that you're just trying to practice. You're trying to get your name out there. And the more you do it, the better you're gonna get and you're gonna to start to learn how to create that nice bokeh background where it is blurred in the background with your subject in the forefront being as sharp as the eye can see. You just wanna have fun with it. You know, shoot sides of buildings, shoot different textures. The more you do it, the more it's gonna grow. You wanna watch the times of day you shoot. You'll learn about that. You'll learn about golden hour, the last hour of sunlight in the day before sunset. Fantastic time to shoot. You just want to practice. And the more I practiced, the more I watched my photography grow. I watched my photos change over time. You learn to edit and post. You learn to shoot from different angles and perspectives and compositions. And that's the key with photography, is angles, perspectives, and compositions. On top of that, the most important feature that brings your photos to life is light. If you do not have great lighting, 
I don't care what kind of scene it is, it's not gonna look great. So lighting is key. So I played around for months, you know, so from my mother's wedding in March all the way until fall of 2017, I really started, you know, practice more, practice, 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 shooting more and more. It was months until I got my first real couple gigs in the fall, which were actually, believe it or not, volunteer gigs for the city. Volunteer gigs is a fantastic way to start growing your photography. Create some business cards, create some kind of flyer or something for an event that you can hand out to people at these events. So that way it spreads via word of mouth. I would start a website to where you can put all of your photos on and create a portfolio for yourself because that's the only way people are gonna see your work besides social media. But social media can get crazy and hectic sometimes. So I would really recommend having a website ready to go once you start building your portfolio so you have a place to put all of your product, all of your results, and all of your hard work. Now when you get these events, you can't be scared and back out. You can't say, mm, you know, I'm only experienced with this, but I'm not experienced with that. You got to be confident and you just gotta go for it. You just have to get out there. Don't show anybody that you're nervous. I was scared my first couple times inside. I was super nervous that I was gonna mess something up, that my lighting wasn't gonna be right. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. Well, I just showed up, I got to these events, I actually had some backdrops, I set up the backdrops, and I just went for it. You just gotta go for it, act confident, and then your real confidence will grow with you over time. I did the first event, they loved it. You know, everything came out great, everybody thought it looked professional, you know, I finally realized, hey, this is my niche and I'm starting to roll with this. Second event came, even better. My props bumped up another level. Everybody loved the setup. I started learning my depths of focus at that point, different shutter speeds, apertures, everything that you gotta know. The more you do it, the more you're gonna learn. So finally, after the second one, I got to the third event. Now this is all right before Christmas during the holidays. It is also a great time to learn and a great time to get business and a great time to spread word of mouth because people are always looking for photos during the holidays. And this was a fantastic time because after event number three, my confidence was through the roof. I've gotten excited. I wanted to you know, do more and more with this. At this point in time, I now have multiple events under my belt and now I'm being offered. I've handed out cards, some flyers, my website address, Everything's online, word of mouth is going out. It's now turned into a business here in 2018 and my confidence levels through the roof. I have all my social networks set up. So taking a little bit, you know, the first year is everything of practice and getting started, you know, finding different angles and ways, different cameras to use, what fits you best. But once you get moving, it really starts to grow at that point. You just have to market yourself and you just have to be confident in yourself. So, the last part of this, I'm gonna lay on my cat blanket here because ain't no thing softer than a cat blanket. Anyways, the last couple parts I have here for you on tips of advice is, like I said, don't worry about, well, I don't have time to set this up. Just go shoot something. Don't worry about, you know, how are they gonna feel if I'm holding the camera this way or how are they gonna react or, what are people gonna think of me if I'm you know, setting up outside here? Am I gonna get in the way? Am I gonna trip? Am I gonna mess up my flash? Am I not gonna get the lighting right? Don't think about any of that. Just shoot, just take your craft, take your dream and go out there and just start taking photos. That's the only way you're gonna learn. That's the only way you're gonna grow. You just have to do it. After, you know, it's been about six years now, really photography, if you count the time that I started with the iPhone, and just use that over and over and over again to learn. So it took years of practice and learning uh, of different angles and everything in order to get where I am now. Today, yes, I have you know professional cameras and DSLRs. I have everything that I need to make a photo shoot great and to do what I gotta do, but I have built the confidence. I have built my fan base. Uh, I'm still in the process of building it but I now have the product that I need, the skills that I need that I have learned in order 
to grow and in order to gain more business. Now, by no means am I, you know, a pro photographer or the best photographer out there. You know, I have a lot of growing to do. I have a long way to go still, but it's my dream and it's my passion. And that is what I'm sticking toward. You know, you can look around your house and you can find anything to shoot. And that's what I do. Even on days you don't have clients, even on days you don't have anything booked, still shoot something. Look around your environment, look around your house, your work, even an object in your car or your car. Shoot something, but shoot it in different angles. Uh, a tip of advice in, in that I would leave is find one object and find 15 different ways to shoot that object. Whether it's with props, whether it's in water, outside of water, freezing something, either stick fruit or vegetable inside a bowl of water, freeze it, pull it out, and then try to shoot that or shoot it as it's thawing out. Find something, uh, use a cookie sheet, use something with different textures, look at different angles, use the floor, use the ceiling. Just have to pick and choose and follow your passion. Photography is easy through practice anybody can just snap a shot but all you have to do is add something different shoot it from a different angle than you normally would if you see if you go outside and you see a scene somewhere or a lake or the ocean and you know how everybody shoots that shot you've seen it happen multiple times think of a different way to shoot that shot go more go around the side shoot it from the back shoot it from inside rather than outside shoot through something all these different tips and tricks are going to help you out they've helped me out over time can't tell you how much i have learned so with all this said i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out my social media links below uh, my instagram at uh, thomas oakley photography uh, check out my website thomasoakleyphotography.com and if you guys just want to hit me up send me a tweet on twitter uh, i'll put the links down below Everything will be in the description down below. And uh, if you want to hook up with me and talk, just send me a message. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Keep shooting. Keep practicing. Build your confidence. Everybody have a great Monday.